The bench grinder is used for deburring as well as sharpening, and can be used to create custom tools for specialized operations. Let's review the lesson objectives. By the end of this video, students will be able to safely use the bench grinder and resurface the grinding wheels. Now let's identify some parts of the bench grinder. The coarse wheel, the fine wheel, the power switch, the safety shields, the work rest, the motor, and the angled groove. Before grinding, ensure there are no flammable liquids or materials in the work area, as grinding does produce sparks. The grinder should not be used on aluminum and softer materials, as these materials can clog the grinding wheels. Turn on the grinder and allow the motor to come up to speed before pressing the workpiece against the wheels. Hold the piece firmly against the work rest while grinding. Round parts can be held at an angle and spun while grinding to produce a taper or chamfer. Although the workpiece may become heated, never wear gloves as they may be pulled into the machine causing injury to fingers and hands. The angled groove in the work rest can also be used to create chamfers on round parts. A cup of water may be used to cool the workpiece during extended grinding. A grinding wheel dressing tool may be used to resurface the wheel, keeping it flat and sharp at the corners. Which of the following is not required when working on a bench grinder? A. Gloves B. Face shield C. Closed-toed shoes The correct answer is A. Gloves Gloves should not be worn while operating the bench grinder. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.